slighted in spirit. That's what we're going to talk about tonight on strength or today, on strength for today. Thursday, July the 24th, Bible study tonight at 7 p.m. The adults will be in 2 Peter. Young people will be in the book of Judges, so come out and be with us. Slighted in spirit, Proverbs 18, 14c says, but a wounded spirit. Sometimes the battle gets brutal. I've never seen a time in my life when Satan has been so brutal against the people of God, doing all he can to destroy us. Sometimes we get wounded in the fight, even though we win. And every time when we win, we thank God for that. And uh, folks, whether we win or lose, we're going to get wounded sometimes. But if you're in God's hands, you're always going to win, but you do get wounded. We can't let these wounds discourage us. Job 17, 15 says, And where is now my hope? As for my hope, who shall see it? They shall go down into the bars of the pit when our rest together is in the dust. There's no hope in death, but there's hope in life. And as long as you're living and the Holy Spirit's living within you, there's hope. Isaiah 49, 14 says, But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. That's a lie of the devil. The devil doesn't ever tell the truth. Jeremiah 2, 25 says, Withhold thy foot from being unshod, and thy throat from thirst. But thou saidst, There is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers, and after them I will go. As long as you stay with God, there's hope. But when you follow after strangers, there is no hope. Nothing but disaster, discouragement, and detriment. Ephesians 2.12 says, That at the time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world, but now in Christ Jesus you sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Even when we're wounded, we still got Christ. Even when we're suffering, we've still got Jesus. And we're nigh to him and we're close to him and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So even though we're wounded and Satan's hurt us, everything's going to be okay because he's nigh to you and you're close to him. Be patient. Wait on the Lord. These things must happen and this too shall come to pass. It will be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.